Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another beautiful day in Rutherville, Tennessee. Uh, I'm here for Page Sports Network. I'm Noah Franklin, and this is Jake McNamara and Michael Mayer. Uh, Jake, you want to introduce yourself and just say a little bit about you, and then Michael. My name is Jake McNamara. I'm the senior quarterback here at Page, and here's Mike. My name is Michael Mayer, uh, one of the wide receivers, and I'm also a senior. So it being both your senior years, uh, how does it feel to be in the state championship game this Friday? I mean, it feels great. First time in school history, so we're all pretty stoked about that. It's honestly a blessing because uh, knowing that we got the most amount of games that we possibly could our senior year, it's something special, and I think we've all been working really hard towards it, so it feels right. I think it's something like, you know, you probably walk in freshman year thinking like, oh, you know, I'm in high school, I want to win a state championship. So now you have that opportunity. So what have you done since Friday to prepare for this coming Friday in Chattanooga? I mean, we've had to have a short-term memory. After Friday, it was crazy, and everyone's hyped about that, but we got to get back to the basics. we got to start watching film, start grinding in practice, and just get back to work because we got to get ready for Pal on Friday. Anything, Mike, you want to add to that? or? Yeah, it's just like every other week, you know. Uh, you just got to get right back to work on Monday and, you know, come prepared. Hopefully you're ready on Friday. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, going back, to, I know you want to say you had a short-term memory, but obviously there's, like, highs and lows from Friday. So, Jake, I remember it was probably the first or second drive. We're in the red zone, and you throw an interception in the end zone. But then, but then you come back, and you, end, and you end the game with 450 yards roughly passing, 100 yards rushing, and seven touchdowns. What did you have to do mentally to adjust after you, end, you start the game on a low note, but you ended on such a big high? Uh, just get over it because stuff happens, but it's the first quarter, and we play four for a reason. So, I mean, it's not about what you do, but it's about what you do next. So that's why I just thought the whole game just got to move on from your mistakes. And I know defense would have got us, and they did in the end. Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> Mike, you kind of been a big player this year as far as like the big plays. A lot of Jake's long passes come to either you or Boyce. So how does it? How do you adjust for like going? You know, know knowing that you're going to be the guy a lot of times downfield at targets. Uh, well, really, it's every play. You just got to treat it the same. You got to give 110% every play. Um, really just give it your all. I don't know what plays I'm getting the ball. I don't know what plays I'm not getting the ball, but I treat every play like I am getting the ball. Um, just go as hard as I can. Ball! ball, ball, ball. ball. <laughs> Next, I have okay. with me, I have Casey Walker and Owen Sachs, both of which have been with us for four years. So explain, I mean, just you know, introduce yourself and explain a little bit about you. I'm Kaysen Walker. I'm a receiver in DB here. I'm a senior. Uh, my name's Owen Sachs. I'm a senior offensive lineman here. <laughs> you hear the guy saying, Owen's committed to Butler University, so he's going D1. <laughs> Go, Owen. Uh, Kaysen, for you, <laughs> Kaysen, for you, you've had like your father and your grandfather both played for Page. So what does it mean for you to be the first person out of your like long, you know, long line of Page football Patriots to be going to the Blue Cross Bowl this Friday? It's really special, and I've heard from all of them. They they all are excited for me too. Like nothing against them, and this is competitive. So I got to bring it up with them whenever, whenever I'm around them. I got to make sure they know that I'm the only one that's made it. But <laughs> but. It's just I enjoy it a lot. Owen, oh, what does it mean to like play both sides of the ball for you as somebody who you know focuses on the offensive line, but has played a lot of defensive line snaps this year? You know, I don't play much defense anymore, but I really enjoyed playing it, so it was cool. So as far as like this season, what has been your favorite moment uh, specifically for each of you? Uh, my favorite moment was definitely this last Friday. That after when the final buzzer went off and we won the game, but one of the craziest games I've ever been a part of, and I it, one of the most fun times I've had. Um, my favorite moment was beating Nolensville twice, because you know they talked a lot, and we shut them up twice. So. So as I was kind of talking about with Jake and uh, Michael. Going into a state championship game is a totally different atmosphere, totally different mental headspace, I would think. There's a lot more pressure on you. You put pressure on yourself. How are you preparing for that this, this week? Kind of just treat it like every other week. Like, you can't, like, think like think ahead and, like, what if we win the state championship? Like, you kind of, like, got to treat it like a regular game like we have all year. And I just feel like that's the key. All right, and Owen, this is more for you. Uh, obviously, like, everybody's kind of talking and it's been known. Uh, 
Powell has the number one prospect in the nation on their defensive line. Uh, and so obviously that's like a big thing to be preparing for this week. How are you preparing for that? And how are you ready to kind of go into that game? You know, I didn't really know about them before this. So um, uh, we're, we're just we're going to put a, a couple of people on them. And I don't think he's really going to change our game plan that much. Okay, so if you just want to introduce yourselves and just say a little bit about you, what position you play? I'm um, Colin Hurd. Uh, I play outside linebacker, and I'm, I'm the backup quarterback. So, I'm Noah Kefauver, and I'm a senior defensive back for our defense. Okay, so defense plays a big role in every game, obviously, but it played a crucial role down the stretch on Friday playing against Henry County. So Colin had the uh, you know, clutch force fumble. Obviously, Noah, you're making tackles, playing, you know, playing in coverage. What was your game plan going into that fourth quarter? And how did you execute? Uh, so as a defense, we really didn't execute in that game. But our game plan was mainly just to stop the run. And we finally got it when Colin got that fumble recovery at the end of the game, which gave our offense a chance to put the game away. Yeah. Uh, well, pretty much our offense carried that whole second half. They kept us back in the game, and we just, we we didn't, have, we didn't stop them all night. So we just had to stop them one more and get the lead back. So walk us through that lap play obviously you get the force fumble how did that happen walk us through that uh, uh, so they we they got the onside kick and we just had to make a stop i saw seth Kabali corner blitzing off the edge he kind of slowed him down for me i just i saw the ball his ball was on the wrong hand so i just reached out and just ripped it from him and it landed right in my lap so yeah. And obviously that turned the tide of the game and allowed us to score with seven seconds left. So it's you know, it's not about how you start on the defensive end, it's really how you finish. Uh, so that was kind of that was a really fun game to watch and be a part of. <laughs> okay, so uh, now I'm joined with Max Collins and uh, Ethan Cunningham. If you want to introduce yourself, tell a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm a junior and I'm a receiver at Page Hot. I'm a sophomore and I'm I go to Page High. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so Ethan, you kind of you didn't really play a lot like the first couple games of the season. I remember I think Franklin at Franklin was kind of your first game where you were getting a lot of snaps and had a big stats. What is it meant to like see your usage grow and then see your production also grow throughout the season? Um, I think again just being more experienced, the more I play, varsity just kind of helped me and just yeah. yeah. How big would you say your like freshman year to now growth would be as a player? Oh, a lot actually. I mean, I didn't know the game at all. I didn't watch football when I was younger, and I think just the more the more I like every game I play as a freshman, the more experience I got, and then off season I just studied more about the game, and so yeah. Yeah. All right. Um. Max, obviously junior year, you made some big touches, made some, you know, great plays. What has been the biggest factor to your success this year? Um, I just think it's grinding in the off season. Uh me and Jake and a couple of other receivers would throw about majority of the summer and yeah, I think that's helped a lot. Yeah, that that, that builds the chemistry and it builds the also like just the muscle memory and stuff. So going back again to Friday, we talked about that catch with seven seconds left. What was running through your mind as that happened? Walk us through that that um, moment. Um, I just said I gotta catch it, so. And I did. So. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you just won. What was it? Max Preps Player of the Week, or one of those Player of the Weeks? I think it was six one five. Six one five Preps Player of the Week. Uh, how does that like fuel you going forward? Um. I really just focused on the state championship. That's what I want the most. So. Okay, so now I'm joined with senior Aiden Laner and Coach uh, Rathbone. So, Coach Bone, how many years have you been coaching football here at Page? I believe this is uh, 20 or 21. So, out of those like 21 years, how do you? When did you think that this team would be the team that would make the state championship game? Well, you kind of go into the season hoping that every team's that team would make the state championship game. So, I mean, this is my ninth year as head coach here. We've had a we've had several good teams. We won three out of the last four region championships. You know, won 11, 10, 11 games, three of the last four years. 
But you know, back in the summer, it, it always comes down, and I tell these guys, it's always a senior-led team. And when seniors take over the team and start doing the little things, organizing throwing sessions, weight room, practice, all those little things, then you know you got something special. And these guys did that from day one. Yeah, going back to kind of last season and the off season, it was more of a mediocre season for Page Football last year than it has been for the you know past four years that at least I've been here and these seniors have been here. So what changed in the off season to come back and have this level of success we've seen this year? Well, Jake didn't throw as many interceptions. That's one. Yeah. You know? yeah. uh, and all, honestly, I, I think it was just a lot of these guys played very early and they were young. And I told Aiden, you know, he had a rough playoff game last year, and I told him – that that's going to make him better. I told these guys that that experience last year is going to make you better and prepare you for the playoffs this year. I think it's a lot of things that go into it. We got some new coaches, different staff, Ethan Cunningham, you know, somebody we could uh, establish a running game. Uh, Hazard, a freshman coming up and playing, giving us some stability on the edge. Hurd has been absolutely fantastic. Um, you know, you got Rutland and Cabali on the edge and Keith Auber coming back. I mean, there's a lot of pieces. And, you know, there's not really one thing. You know, I'm kind of, I've kind of done the same thing I've always done. Right. You know, it's really the kids that make the difference. It's really the players that make a difference. Yeah. So, Aiden, what does it mean, going back to what Coach Bone said about last year's playoff game, how did that fuel you to, you know, continue to get better and work harder at your game? To be honest, it kind of just put a bad taste in my mouth, and I knew that I didn't want to feel that feeling ever again. So I, always, I put in the work to not feel that feeling again. That, that was my motivation to put in all the work. Um, over the off season and in the summer, I think it's safe to say that it's kind of shown up as we're you know here in the state championship game this Friday. So it's been pretty crazy to see. Um, we look forward to seeing you know all the Page Football faithful and you know, all Rutherford, Tennessee in Chattanooga Friday at Finley Stadium for the state championship game. And uh, that's all I got to say. Now what do, what do y'all have to say? Let's go, Page!